Hi everybody, welcome to Mindfulness Mondays with Nazima. So this week I thought I would speak about a very important topic called self-care. So we tend to overlook uh, self-care for ourselves. And you know, we, we have been conditioned to believe that if we don't make time for our needs or for our health, um, or just a time out just to connect with ourselves and fill our own cups, that it makes us extremely um, selfish, human beings and on a day-to-day -day basis especially with everything that is happening around the world uh, we all just want to go in and save everybody and be there for family members and colleagues and our community to help them through whatever they're going through and to provide that support and by all means please go ahead and do that because that's what human connection is all about um, but it is just so important to make time for self-care so one of or just a, or just some of the signs to show that you could be lacking some self-care and you know it 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 varies from person to person but it can be anything from feeling fatigued to irritable to sad to um to not being able to to focus and concentrate when you're doing some work um, it could also affect your libido there's just so much that uh, so many areas of your life that it can affect so um, it's very important to set some time for self-care like something for you to do every single day just to fill your cup and it's also very different from uh, for everybody so some simple things that you can do while you're at work for self-care um, is really give yourself permission to enjoy a nice cup of coffee or a nice herbal tea. You know, you could go with a ginger tea, a peppermint tea, chamomile tea. It's really good for the soul. It opens up your expression center. And, you know, having something natural is really good for our, for our immune system and for our well-being. The next thing that you could do, and I'm just going to show you how to do this, but this is one of my favorites. So you could get yourself an essential oil or an Ayurvedic oil, keep it at your workstation or somewhere close to you. Just take a few drops and you can rub it on your temples and you can rub it behind your neck and you can actually just give yourself a quick one minute head massage. Just like this. You know, the aroma from the essential oil is just so soothing. Or if you don't want to rub it on your hair, you can actually just rub it in your hands, on your wrists. And you can just inhale it and just take some time just to breathe in and out for a minute. It's really good for your soul. Um, more things that you could do is just schedule um, time just to to watch maybe your favorite program um, you know pick up the phone and call an individual or friend that is really positive and light-hearted uh, make sure that you are eating well and uh, having some nourishing food um, and really taking the time out to do what it is that you what it is that feeds your soul so as the videos go along for the next few weeks i am going to give you some tips and ideas on just ways to feed your soul so that you can ensure that your cup is filled anyway so that is my topic for this week and let's see what our card is for this week and this week our word is self-esteem and it says this week I will focus on self-esteem. I feel an inner joy and know that I am worthy and a beautiful being and that I have the resources and inner strength to do or to be anything I choose. So there we go. Simple, simple self-care rituals that you can that you can incorporate in your day-to-day -day life can definitely give you that strength that you need to, to be better for everybody else. Thank you. This is Nazima from Mindfulness Mondays and I shall see you next week.